Hello and welcome to Spain and to the world of the Polytunnel. This is the countryside near Almeria in the south of Spain. At first glance it looks as if snow has fallen on one of Europe's warmest regions. Then the penny drops. The land is literally covered with thousands of acres of plastic jungle, which farmers in the UK call polytunnels. What on earth has caused this man-made landscape that's so huge it can be seen from space? Almeria isn't just warm, it's the driest part of Europe. The natural vegetation is semi-desert. It's not the kind of place you expect to see any large-scale agriculture as the natural vegetation is dry, rocky scrub. Yet Almeria and surrounding countryside has become one of Europe's premier regions for winter salad crops. And at the heart of this success is the polytunnel. Andalusia has 340 days of sunshine and during the winter the polytunnels are a warm and cosy environment for tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers and the like. Because rain is infrequent and soils are thin and rocky, the polytunnels are an environment in themselves. The moisture and nutrients in the plants needed are supplied through a vast irrigation system. No water is wasted as the polytunnels retain it in a hot, humid environment. To make this work, there's a network of pipes, pumping stations and holding reservoirs that go right back into the wetter mountainous terrain near Granada. Environmentalists have criticised polytunnel farming for the damage it causes to fragile, semi-desert environments. The polytunnels may look a bit rickety, but this is expensive, capital-intensive agriculture and high security comes with it. It's big business. Polytunnel farming has helped transform the economy of this part of Andalusia, improving infrastructure, lifting incomes and attracting new industries. In the Bible there's a well-known saying, you will harvest what you plant, or more traditionally, you reap what you sow. In this particular case, the investment in agriculture has produced increased harvests and increased profits. But sadly, it's had a huge effect on the environment in terms of soil erosion and also in the loss of the semi-arid ecosystem. The principle is true in life. Each of our actions has a consequence. Sometimes those actions produce very positive consequences in the people we help. But sometimes, in a very sinful world, our actions can lead to very negative outcomes. Let me read the verse that this saying comes in. Uh, it's from Paul's letter to the Galatians. And let's expand it a little bit. Don't be misled. You cannot mock the justice of God. You will always harvest what you plant. Those who live only to satisfy their own sinful nature will harvest decay and death from that sinful nature. But those who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting life from the Spirit. You harvest what you plant. You reap what you sow. It's a simple truth of life. What comes out of our lives reflects who we are and what we've done. And we're all responsible to God for who we are and what we've sown in life. If you don't know Jesus, one day you're going to have to give an account of your life before God. What are you going to say? If you plant in the fields of your natural desires, from it you'll gather the harvest of death. If you plant in the field of the Spirit, from the Spirit you'll gather the harvest of eternal life. If we reflect on our lives, we realise that we've already planted the wrong stuff that keeps us from God eternally. You know what I mean? Things that we know we've done wrong. Things that we thought that weren't right. Things that we never did that we should have. God calls all this sin. And the amazing thing is that God wants us to reap the harvest of eternal life, not what we deserve. He's already provided a solution in Jesus who died to rescue us from the consequences of our sin. If you know it's time to put yourself right before God today, then why not come to Jesus and accept his offer of forgiveness and eternal life? In doing so, you'll plant in the field of the Spirit and harvest eternal life, as Paul puts it. You reap what you sow. 
why not sew in the right place today?